Hello, my darling. I just got done um, <clears throat> writing up these flashcards, right? So they're playing cards that I put flash like messages on. So let's see what inspired messages come out for you guys today. Just really quickly, this is the first time we're going to use these cards with you guys. All right, so welcome in. Thank you for being here. This is Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Okay, we have. I feel this one is significant. The Nine of Hearts. It says, um, "Love, creating a happy life and happiness. It feels like happiness surrounding you." And then we have marriage. Okay, the Seven of Hearts is uh like maybe someone has made a decision and is happy about the decision they made and we have the queen of wands the first card to come out here which is uh a very attractive woman very um she's probably very hornery as well maybe wanting to um what's that feeling has a heart of fire Maybe wants to have that union to be one with someone. And I hear you. I don't know. Maybe someone from their past. Someone you just thought about. Maybe a water sign. Or this is someone thinking of you then Cancerian. This fire sign who is very sexually driven toward you right now. Let's see what's going on. And then we have this card. The Joker energy which is one that really, really. They, they're saying I want to be with you. I wish I could give you some of my time. But I'm focusing on work. It's the energy of someone in the midst of work, like operating a vehicle or a machine. And you're there like, hello, I need some time. But they're like, hey, honey, I wish I could give you this time right now. But I really have to be focusing on this, on this balance. You know, it's like this work that this person does, it takes balance and focus. So it would be hard for them to give you, well, in their mind, for them to give you that time. Or else it's going to throw off their work balance. You know what I mean? But is that really so? Because upon meditation on this card, I'm feeling like this person can. If they really want to, they will. They will find a way how to make it work. Where they're meet, you are being happy. You know, they're tending to your happiness while focusing on balancing work. I feel like this person would want to do that as well they just don't know it yet that they are capable of giving you the love and the attention that you need um to create that happy life with you and able to give satisfy you too sexually you know what i mean um so maybe they can they can do that let's see what queen of wand is focusing on over here i'm telling you she's <laughs> look all this fire energy but um, it feels like there is no communication or someone is trying to tell someone something and they're not really understanding or hearing because it says the eight of swords. It says there's no way to get through to you. I'm trying to connect with you, but connection is done or no physical connection or the lines are done for connecting. But someone is also feeling like they need to connect. You know, it's that pining for someone, a longing for that connection for someone, but it's not there. You know, that connection, you know, will quench your soul or your thirst, but it, it just, there's no one to do it with. There's no one to really connect with our, but, um, and then we have this creating new flames, passion, let's get creative. You know, maybe someone wants to do that with you, but maybe there's no chance for that, for this person. I don't know. Maybe it's, <laughs> Maybe this is talking about some of you single Cancerians out there that would want to get creative when it comes to love and creating a happy life and maybe <clears throat> being one with someone. But it's like a blockage. Maybe you, Cancerian, are the one that is so focused on work. You feel like if you should give someone the time of day, it's going to completely throw you off focus right now. But you do have these desires because the six of one's energy here is like in pursuit, wanting to be successful, in pursuit of your passions, your desire. Okay, we also have moving on, moving toward, okay, receiving 
Oh no, it says romance and attracting so and and in, in this is the actual act of love making and you know, the six of one is how I was feeling it. And then we have ready for love, which I just did just now. Ready for love. I'm ready. I'm a, I'm ready to like explode. It's like the energy of the the day before the flower decides to bloom. It knows like tomorrow I'm going to bloom. I can't wait to really birth and bloom. So someone can't wait to to um for this passionate desire, this connection. And then we have this this one who is captivated or starstruck. It's like taking a deep breath and not remembering to exhale. This is the end the, the um the energy that this one is embodying. Let's look more. Well, this could be your soulmate. Soul tie, earth sign, a water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also see a lot of fire energy in here, Cancer. So this person says they want to like they want to mate with you, basically. Um, <laughs> they think it feels right. <laughs> they if they think it would feel right to come together uh, with you. Uh, it's like this person is they have their heart out the passion and the desire ready it's just for you to agree and say yes because they're really captivated by your emotions or something you see you look very attractive here to this one here um hmm. so there's a darkness in his heart space and why he is in jack of diamonds position maybe he's not very emotional at this point maybe that's why he hasn't really he or she you know what i mean sorry uh, masculines forgive me but you know i'm reading for you too uh so let the genders apply so um so this person they may not know how to really connect with you. This person may use money as a means, like they wear money inside of their heart. It's like this person decided to fill the heart space with money, with pentacles instead. So they haven't ex really experienced um, this love before. You know, they want to be intimate, but they haven't really had true intimacy, like with a divine soul connection. So maybe this is new for this person to just feel this spark. That's why they're starstruck um, and so captivated by how they feel when they see you, I feel. Okay, this person is young, looking, probably, maybe not. Okay. So you may meet this person where, or this person may come toward you, or maybe watching you, or feeling you, or this person may be, yeah, they may want to come toward you, I feel, and they may want to be bold, and, um, what is this, be militant, and, um, <laughs> so the energy they will come toward you. It's as if they're um, <laughs> they're trying to um, be confident, like militant vibration. But the truth is, they have this soft feeling, this two of hearts vibration still toward you. So they will come toward you like, "Hey, I see you. I like you. Do you want to go out on a date?" But then they'll act as if if you say no, it won't hurt them. It's just like whatever. But really and truly, I don't. Let's see. So where will you meet this person? It's not at work. It's where, where, where is this? Or have you met? Or where will you meet or what? Could be work. Clear communication and this is true love. This person is about to communicate to you. Yeah, they're about to say Say something. I want, I long, I hope it is my wish to achieve you. And they have feelings like um, developing feelings, chemical reactions. Yeah, you stir this person's emotions. 
they are on the jack level you know what i mean so i don't know why is this person at jack level they are still afraid and shy and there are still things that they haven't worked on maybe they haven't been meditating or clearing up or rejecting oh maybe there's someone else too no maybe there's competition this competition is beautiful too beautiful energy light-hearted clear clear organized person this person feels like this person feels like um one, a person that makes things clear she, this person feels like a diffuser in the environment it makes things easy or simple or clear like the, a mother possibly could be this person's mother i don't know or someone they want it they have separated from i want to connect with you but there is no connection okay this person is hurt still maybe by another feminine or this has as i said their mother energy and then we have so someone has made a decision because of their desires and they're having new dreams and new feelings new things they want to pursue okay Well, Cancer, <clears throat> you are, my dear, in the Four of Cups energy. You're really keeping yourself, holding back, keeping yourself to yourself, loving yourself, healing your heart space, being more present in your heart space, connecting to your roots, you know, preserving your love, finding peace of mind, you know, cherishing your love, and just hoping for just in a place of home, you know what I mean, is where the heart is. And this is saying, no, I can't give you my love. So, and giving up your heart, giving a piece of your heart. I don't think you're doing that. I think you are giving a piece of your heart to something. What is that? Cherish. To Focus, I don't know. <laughs> oh, to creating the life that you desire. So you are, even though you're still attracting like Jack energy because you're in queen, you know what I mean? Even if, if you're masculine or, fe masculine or feminine, you're still attracting people that are lusting after you and so on because you look good. You're the queen of one. So, you know, um, but I feel you do have your back turned to much of this attraction that's coming toward you from different sorts of people and vibration. You really want to focus on healing yourself. You're really try learning how to respect yourself and to be disciplined and to really focus your interest on what will work for you. Things that you hold dear to yourself. Um, focusing on really communicating, especially to your intuition and, and to the divine, you know. So let's see. Your love, though, the love you're focusing on is we have the three of hearts and the three of hearts card says kissed and then we have what hard not having you hard not having you i wrote that and i put it hard who hard not having who Hard not having who kiss who hard not having who who is it who answer answer 
answer it is evident <laughs> they're saying it is evident as if i already know it is obvious it's obvious it's hard not having heart connection the only one that takes your heart and we have that's all folks said by the pig and then we have what we have diligently loves you um and wants to impress you and we have get to the point the truth and the speaking and clarity i don't know maybe that's for me So who loves you? We have the two of pentacles, earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, this sign, ooh, I like this. Because I wrote this one to Junior Gang's song, A Fine Piece of Wine. Be single running it down the line. Could it be so fine? Show me a sign. I've been searching on it so hard to find. Be single with a decent wine. Alright, so I wrote this card from that. That's that zing when you know you found that one. Show me a sign. So it says feel good. This says zing. Um, this says it's not luck. It's by it's not luck. It's blessings. You know. Decent values, fine mind, similar values, soulmate. Okay. Anything else? I can send this luck. I feel the jack of hearts would be your better option. They stand out more. Maybe you think of this person more. It's more clear or obvious why you would choose the jack of hearts. Can surprise you, Scorpio vibration. This person wants to speak to you. And um, the card says, I want to, I long, I hope. It is my wish to achieve you. And they have these feelings that they maybe want to hug you. Like they want to be in your life and then we have the sun vibration the sun card three of pentacles which is a full expression um giving someone your attention forgiveness being thoughtful being graceful so they want maybe want your forgiveness you know maybe that's what this person wants maybe a person from your past falling in love natural vibe familiar feeling deeply in love Okay. All right, even these love messages here. Let's take who the King of Cups. The King of Cups says, The one that loves you. As if this person is telling you that I am the one that loves you. 